it's all just about, you know, if you just think of phrasing your quarters uh, on your hi-hat or on your right symbol around the 16th and just count it as that. So that's what I meant by feathering the pedal when I'm doing it that way. And it, it's a really important. I play heel up. I think that's the best way to play. You play heel down, you're going to wear out your shin muscle. You know, it, and it'll start to sound a little choppier. too but if you approach it with heel down as low as possible but still raised so that you play on the ball of your foot But that's what I meant by feathering it, okay? So, and you can have fun with just experimenting. You can play eights with it. You can use uh, your foot to control the hat. Or you can just play, you know, play, use your uh, a, uh, stick for your, your quarter notes. That kind of thing. eights there, but th that's what I was saying. You can play eights or quarters with it. So, and if you play quarters with it, you're just matching your quarters on your hi-hat. you want to have fun with it and phrase it and then the other one that I was playing where it did involve those feathering and this one is, is quite difficult that I'm still trying to figure out myself so, so forgive me if I make a mistake but that's the one where I was playing that one where you're playing Here and you start playing a close stroke. And obviously, you know, I'm just kind of trying to get fast with it. And exceeding my maximum, but that's what I meant by playing that. And then accenting, accenting with this hand, or your right hand over for that accent. That kind of thing. You can, that's how I kind of got it together first. Getting used to accenting on one B and two. Actually, it's on just on beat one and four on the last one. One B and two. I actually turn on two again. One. that way. 
Okay, now before this turns into super long, I'm going to play the exercise for you that um, I wrote out in another video of where you can practice the 16ths on one bass drum, um, doing the doubles, doing the toe ball. That's how I approach them. Toe ball, toe ball, toe ball, toe ball. It's kind of just a quicker, because you can get one stroke with one leg movement. So when your leg raises and your toe points, that's first stroke. When your leg lowers, that's the second stroke. So this exercise involves that, plus the trip that's in between. And I'm going to count it out for you um, first while I, before I play it, um, or while I show the sticking for it. So the sh sticking is right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. Kick right, left, kick right, left, kick, kick. 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 Right, left, kick. Right, left, kick. Right, left, kick. Right, left, kick, kick. Okay, and that's what gives it that shifting feeling because you're playing the straight back into the. So it kind of gives it this cycling feeling. Okay, so when I play it. how we do it as in the exercise way just to train you know getting your muscle memory used to getting your hands and feet to work together now what you can do is use it as a drum fill and it will fit into a two bar drum fill um, because of the way that you count it and that it comes right back in from so when you come back into the pattern of playing your time and remember we're playing two bar two bar pattern two bar drum fill because one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a uh, two, two e two e and a one and a two and a three and a four e and a so that's what I meant by the two bars so it goes from one You can count those those four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, one. So that's how it's phrased, okay? Now, if you put it into a groove, this is where you know you'll get the best practice with it. I'll just play a simple one so that you can see how it fit. And I like putting um, a little drag on the first of when I first start the. Play just a simple beat. Three and four, two and two, and here we go. Two, here I go. So you hear how I play that. notes on the end um, just to carry you back in if you use it as a drum fill or you can come out of it like four e and a one instead of playing that instead of playing that you can play
that's what I meant on that one. And then back into B1. So Instead of playing that, you can play it. And sometimes it's a little quicker to get out of it that way. But that's the exercise. Okay, and then just I would just keep repeating it um, until you got the figure down and make sure. For me, you know, I really had to count and help my students count through it because it's easy to get lost of where the triplets are placed and then to get to play the four eanda right back into one eanda um, on some of those. So hopefully that helps. 16-minute um, video, but I wanted to just kind of give you an example of it because what you're playing is, is really great, and your triplet sounds so, so good. So if you just start incorporating playing more of the feathering technique or trying the blah da 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 blah blah da 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 blah Instead of doing da 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 da, it will really help to bring that in, and then you can just start incorporating the hi hat with it, you know. You know, and I, I change the figure too sometimes. So, it, like I said, dotted eighth. I like playing dotted eighths on it. But you, you can also figure, oh, are all my 16ths matched the way they should be without just playing quarter notes? Just play 16ths with your hand pattern because they should match exactly with the syllable count. ideas of things that you can explore and just turn into your own you know that's kind of the fun part about it is sharing the info and you know like I said I'm still working on it myself and you know it just came up with it that not too long ago and then getting my right leg to be able to do all the work um, that it normally takes two pedals to be able to do but it's a hundred percent possible guys a hundred percent possible just takes a little bit sticking to it, not getting frustrated, like, well, I can play it way faster the other way, so why am I doing that? Well, the reason is, is because then you can start to incorporate the hat, you'll develop even more independence, and then you can rely on one bass pedal to play everything that normally takes two to play. Now, not everything, because some things when you're playing really, like, progressive metal or that kind of stuff that involves, you know, a lot of double pedal, um, yeah, for all, by all means, use double pedal, but um, if you can practice with your muscle memory on, double, on single pedal, um, I, I think it's highly valuable, just my personal opinion, um, and maybe I think that just because it's, you know, extra hard for me and kind of a challenge, and I wanted to see how well I could do with uh, playing with uh, one pedal after what someone I really respected was like, well, you got... Obviously, you got nerve damage, so you know maybe you should just think of playing everything you play with double pedal, you know, um, even if it required playing double pedal or not. So I took that to mean like, okay, well, you know, if that's your opinion, then maybe I can try it that. Um, but you know, I'm gonna work really hard and persevere at getting my getting my leg to work the right way. Um, and like I said, by no means is it perfect, um, but it's starting to get there where I can now feather the pedal in addition to use different techniques, in addition to slide technique, in addition to toe ball, um, in addition to controlling the hi-hat with it. And it didn't come overnight by any means, I promise you that, but it, it's 100% possible, guys, okay? Um, so happy drumming, hopefully that helps. Um, and not just for Brian, but um, that exercise 
can go into a lot of things. It will really help dial your hand-foot exercises in. And then you can expand upon it with your subdivisions, like right, like doing a, a five-stroke kind of thing. Or you can do five-stroke type of stuff like that, too, instead of just... Speed it up faster. That kind of thing. Alright, so different ways you can use it. Have a great day, guys. Happy drumming.